Hello everyone, I'm Balaji, the host for this session, and I would like to welcome you all to an exciting webinar on Zoho Sheet, a powerful spreadsheet tool to manage your data. With me, I have Rohit, who will co-host this session. Hello everyone. Discuss Zoho Sheet, where collaboration meets innovation in synergetic, smart, and simple interface. Zoho Sheet transforms the way teams work together, seamlessly connecting data and fostering a truly interactive environment. Designed for intuitive navigation, it empowers users to create and manage complex sheets with ease. Its compatibility with Excel ensures a smooth transition for all your data needs, making Zoho Sheet the ultimate tool for dynamic and creative workplaces. Embrace the future of collaboration with Zoho Sheet, where idea comes to life effortlessly. Perfect, Rohit. Can you provide us with more insights on today's session? So, Balaji, in today's session, we'll cover how to import data from various sources and effectively organize it using Zoho Sheet's built-in feature. Additionally, we'll explore different methods to represent data for better understanding and also we'll check on some tips and tricks for making your data not only functional but also visually appealing. Thanks for letting me know. And uh, where do we start when it comes to working with data in Zoho Sheet? First thing first, to play with data in a spreadsheet, the initial step is to input the data you have. This is crucial because you need data to work with before you can do anything else. You have various options to bring in data into Zoho Sheet. Alright, can you guide me through the different ways a data can be imported into a spreadsheet? Of course, yes. In the Zoho Sheet dashboard, you will find the upload button on the top bank. From there, you can upload your data. First, let's say you have some data on your mission, you can choose the upload spreadsheet, choose files from your mission, or if you have a public URL of the document, you can also use that to import document to Zoho Sheet. Additionally, if you also use any other cloud service like Google Drive, Box, OneDrive or Dropbox, you can also use our import from Cloud Drive option to import data. You can also find the same set of options within the spreadsheet under the file tab as well. Let's say when you import a CSV file to Zoho Sheet, uh, you have some data on your monthly report, you have to import that. So under the file menu, go to import select the CSV file that you want to import and while you import the data, you will have option to select the required number of columns that you want to move to Zoho Sheet. So you can see here, I'm importing a monthly report document here. So as soon as you select the file, I get option to select the required set of columns. You can easily eliminate the unwanted columns. You can change the delimiters like the comma, semicolons, and also you can change the format of date column here. So here I'm going to just change it to date month here. Once it is done, I have different importing options. I can import that as a new sheet, new template, I can replace the current spreadsheet, I can replace the current sheet, or I can append the data to a current sheet, or I can replace the from starting from a cell. I want to discuss some real world scenarios where companies handle large amounts of data and need to organize it effectively in a spreadsheet. But can you give us some industry specific examples, Balaji? Sure. Let's look at a scenario where a software development company needs to juggle several projects at once. They want to track support calls, manage feature requests, and monitor ticket status to prioritize their issues effectively. So how can they organize their data to meet these needs? Well, you can use features like data cleaning, sorting, hiding rows and columns, you can insert a table, and also you can group and ungroup a set of rows and columns. Okay, that gives me a basic idea how data organization can be done in Zoho Sheet. Can you explain more about these features, Can be how these can be used in this scenario? For instance, if I have empty cells or need to fix inconsistencies or handle duplicates and unique entries, how should I proceed? So Balaji, we have option for that. Go to the data tab and select the tab cleaning. So here, go to the data tab on the top band and you have the data cleaning. And here you can choose different operations. So here I'm going to select fix inconsistence. And the next step, you need to select the required column that you need to clean. So here I'm going to clean the client name column. I'm just replacing the inconsistence and also I got some missing values I can fill with previous value in the column and I can also find any duplicates or uniques and also I can check the frequency of data getting repeated in my document and next we also have sorting option so here I'm going to sort my data based on the client name select the required rows that you want to sort and on the top right band you have the sorting option select that and you can sort ascending or descending. So here I'm going to just sort it in ascending way. In addition to this, you can also sort based on condition. So we have custom sort. So here you can sort based on different columns. So first you can sort based on column D, then column A or column C. And you also have list option where you can 
you can select content headers or you can select it to be case sensitive and also you can change the orientation either from top to bottom or left to right once we are done with sorting we got advanced filters to filter your data in more refined way for example if you want to just focus on close ticket resolution status so here i'm going to select the resolution status column i have resolved pending and close tickets so i'm going to filter this based on the close status apply the filter and here just select the close cell value now i'll get all the close ticket details in addition to this you can also filter based on colors if you have applied colored text so if you have the text color option and also we have custom filters you can filter based on certain conditions so here i'm just select, select the green color so that will get me all resolved tickets right here in zoom sheet we have advanced filter option we say that because you can save this filter as a document filter so that whenever a collaborator open this document they can see the filter that you have applied and also you can save this filter in a particular name so later when you open the document you can just click on the saved filter and the filter will get applied next up we have tables you can also insert tables into your spreadsheet just go to the format tab on the top band and you have tables just choose the color theme of your preference and select the ranges and you can insert a table um sorry to interrupt rohit i can understand how data cleaning sorting and advanced filters can help with data organization but i guess even our users might also wonder how does adding a table help to organize your data could you get more into that please it's a good question balaji adding a table can help you out to organize data in a structured format making it easier to read and understand this is particularly useful when dealing with large data set you can easily define boundaries to your data to identify where the data starts and ends formatting the table is also very simple just click on the table that you have just created and the table option will get popped up on the right band of the sheet click on that and you have options to edit the name you get header option you can give total number of rows banded rows you can select the first column last column or banded columns and we also have different color themes you can change your theme of your tables anytime and also in case if you wish to delete a table you can easily do that from the same table properties button on the right band the table button just scroll down a bit and you'll find remove table option while removing a table we also show an option to remove the table and keep the format or remove the table and format so here i'm going to choose remove table and format this will clear the format and the table but my data will get retained on the sheet i hope this clears your question balaji um yes it does rohit but it brings up another question so as we were talking about tables so now i need to group some rows and columns additionally i want to hide certain rows or columns from other collaborators that's so how should provide an option to do that balaji Grouping rows and columns in Zoho Sheet will allow the organization to easily manage data. You can simply select the rows and columns that you want to group. So here I'm going to group a set of support agents. I'm going to select a set of agents. Then go to the data tab on the top band and you have the group and ungroup option. Go there, click on group rows. Now you can see the particular set of agents got grouped. You can easily hide them and unhide them. Moving on, You also have an option to create subgroups and parent groups. So within this group I just created, I'm going to create a subgroup. So I'm going to select another set of agents. The same option select the agents, go to data, group and group rows. Now you can see I have a parent group and also a subgroup in it. Similar to grouping the data, ungrouping the data is also very simple. Just select the group data, go to the same tab, data tab and you click on ungroup and the selected rows will get ungrouped moving on we have hide and unhide rows managing the visibility of rows and columns in zoho sheet is straightforward simply select the rows that you want to hide so here i'm going to hide some sensitive customer information so i'm going to select the particular set of rows right click on it and you'll have the hide option now we can see these 12 rows got hidden from my collaborators thank you rohit for explaining these features these capabilities are not just limited to the software industry alone so any sector dealing with large volumes of data such as finance managing transaction records or healthcare maintaining patient information so they can obviously benefit from these functionalities and next up i would like to discuss data entry and uh, representation so 
we have already inputted the data and we have now organized it so once the data is organized how can users represent their data like do we have any formatting tools or features in zoho sheet for this parani balaji we have several tools available to present your data effectively such as cell formatting top down lists you can insert images hyperlinks within text and check boxes okay thanks for letting me know but how can these tools benefit the specific use case we are discussing today so it will be user it will be easier for attendees to understand it based on the same use case shob sure, balaji so in this particular sheet under the format tab i have the format cell option where i can change the accounting type i can change the currency type i can even change the date format that i need uh, we have different fraction options we also have custom option in more formats you can format the decimal of the number that you're working on i need to in the decimal places i can change the date and time format i can set that in addition to this i can also add my custom format code if needed okay that's great but what if i need to categorize this data based on priority levels and differentiate them using different colors how should i achieve that we also got the covered another valuable feature is of pick list so user can tailor their sheet using the pick list option so in this particular sheet i have a column called priority level so i'm going to prioritize my ticket based on high medium and low just select the column go to insert and you have the pick list option and if you have already have the data on the particular column you'll get picked it up so here i have the medium and high i'm also you're going to use the theme option to fill the cell color so for medium yellow for red high and i'm going to add a new value low with green so once you create apply that on the selected column or a row so you can see the pixels got applied just click on the drop down and fill the cells perfect okay so this does make the data look more organized additionally i also want to include extra information such as a screenshot of the issue or an image of the log can i insert an image in sheet as you can user can enhance their spreadsheet by integrating images directly into a specific cell so in the sheet i'm going to insert the image so go to the insert tab and you have images select insert on a cell upload the image from your machine now you can see that image got inserted on the cell you'll also have expand button so this will show you the complete image not only you can insert the image inside the cell you can also insert it over the cell go follow the same steps you have image over cells option select the image from your machine or from your library to insert this is how it's going to look addition to that you can also hyperlink any urls to your text it will provide more details to the work that you're doing so here i have like number of tickets i want to hyperlink to the original ticket that i was working on so select the cell go to insert hyperlink paste the url done and also you can also just select the cell right click on it you'll get the same hyperlink option enter the url and the particular web page will get hyperlink to the data and also in zoho sheet you can easily insert check boxes or notes directly into your spreadsheet by accessing the insert menu check boxes are particularly used for team agents to mask task or ticket completion status efficiently similarly adding notes allow them to provide additional details related to clients or specific tickets enhancing communication and documentation within the team they sound incredibly useful for uh, data representation of it being able to insert check boxes and notes directly into the spreadsheet will definitely streamline task management and client communication processes it seems like zoho sheet provides a comprehensive toolkit for organizing formatting and representing data effectively i can see how these features will help us maintain clarity and efficiency in an organization workflow uh, so i'd like to discuss functionalities that zoho sheet provides to visually enhance and enrich the data that is input into zoho sheet i'm looking for styling by content or maybe a few examples that i can come up with formatting styles and fonts could you give me some examples maybe absolutely balaji zoho sheet also provides option to visually enhance the representation of your data you have the ability to add fonts color color borders you can change the grid themes and settings and also the format settings of the sheet can you show me how to use these options to style my data also i want to use a font that's installed on my computer is that possible in zoho sheet you have variety of fonts to choose from from the font list on your sheet on the top band you have the format of font option and in the drop down you can see variety of fonts getting listed so you can choose any one from this or if you need more fonts we also have font library 
go to add fonts from font library and you can see different set of fonts available and you can search for it and also we do support uh, different languages so that you can search for that particular language specific fonts as well and since you asked how to add uh, fonts from your machine we also have option for it under add fonts we have add from your machine library computer where you can just enter the font name and add it to your sheet next we also have cell color applying colors to text and cell in zoho sheet is simple you can use color palette to enhance the data representation by highlighting important information or categorizing data visually this feature enable agents to effectively distinguish and organize data using color for instance they can employ the red color to denote high priority information and ensure clarity in the data analysis and management process and moving on we have the cell border and merge cells enhancing data visualization can be achieved by customizing cell borders in zoho sheet the users have the flexibility to add colors and adjust the thickness of border which helps them to organize the data more effectively by merging cells and applying borders digitally they can create visual distinction between different section of data improving overall readability and presentation this approach not only enhances the aesthetic appeal of the spreadsheet but also aids in conveying information more clearly facilitating better data analysis and decision making these have been very helpful rohit but what are the options that zoho sheet provide under formatting so i've heard about features like grids themes can you give me some more information uh, uh, that you know you can align the cells content horizontally vertically increase decrease in them you have wrap option so we have these kind of options to format the entire sheet and you can have it look more in aesthetic manner and also we got ability to freeze your rows and columns and shows the important headers or labels to mind visible so here just go to the view tab on the top band and first we have the freeze you can have the header section to get freezed you can change the grid lines or you can even hide the grid lines you can change the grid direction from left to right or right to left you can also change the grid space and you can look at more classy comfort or cozy and also we have option to zoom your sheet and last we have the appearance where you can change it to light or dark we got the themes option where you can change the entire theme of your sheet you don't have to change it by cell by cell just select the theme and you can see as i switch over to the different themes the entire cell color is getting changed ah that's perfect thanks for introducing me to these features but again a quick question are there any spreadsheet or locale level settings that i should know for example i would like to maintain the currency in dollars can that be done balaji we have option for that as well so under the file menu you can find our spreadsheet setting on the bottom from that you can set a default font for your data you can set the font size you can set the font color and also you can choose the grid color so that whenever you open a new sheet it will follow the same that you have applied here and as we ask the locale settings so here you can change your language the date format the correct symbol and also in calculation you can also save your iterative preferences as well right that's perfect rohit we have come to the end of the session 